What's the good word, everybody? Welcome to the New York Jets Syndicate channel. It's your boy DKB here. So the New York Jets, we have an interesting list of candidates that are uh, working out for the New York Jets. This happened Monday. Headlining that list is former tackle Zach Banner. Um, came into the league as a 2017 fourth round pick for the Colts. Got some experience with the Browns. Uh, made his most memorable moments with the Steelers. Uh, tell me if this story sounds familiar, but a larger than life size man, six foot eight, 358 pounds, uh, that has some weight concerns surrounding him, right? At least heading into the NFL, um, was able to kind of get things straightened out. As I mentioned, by the time he got settled in with the Steelers, um, but 29 year old guy, uh, we're essentially looking at, you know, what Makai Becton's career could ultimately end up looking like here. Um, if he can't, you know, maintain uh, his leg and his weight. Um, but things are looking up for both of these guys. Makai Becton's been a stalwart for us lately um, in the limited amount of times that we've seen him. Uh, as for Zach Banner, this is his first real stint into looking at trying to get back into the NFL. He hasn't played since 2021 uh, when he was with the Steelers and that was due to an ACL that he suffered um, back in the the tail end part of 2020 he's been rehabbing this entire time um, which puts into perspective for me a little bit of what Makai Becton has actually gone through as well in light of plenty of the players uh, at, at difficult positions that have recovered from ACLs quickly Makai Becton's in a league of his own and Zach Banner seems to be going through these same issues Although, you know, not to the same notoriety as, you know, this being in New York and, of course, uh, Makai Becton's draft status. So, nonetheless, what are we looking at with him? Uh, again, tremendous size. He has all of the same tool sets that you're going to see from the Trent Williams and the Makai Becton's of the world. Um, played 30 games primarily as a swing tackle. He was a two-game starter uh, at one point with the Steelers, but... The biggest story on him was that at one point he was expected to be the starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, and then the ACL issue occurred. So um, I will tap more so into the fact that it seemed like he was primed to be one of those lovable guys in Pittsburgh that you see finishing his entire career with them. Uh, of course, obviously prior to him getting cut, but that definitely seems more injury related than skill set wise. So. This could be one of those prime pickups if it works out in the New York Jets. In fact, did love his workout where uh, he's a guy that comes out of nowhere and earns, uh, you know, uh, uh, probably a, an underrated role for the team. Right. I don't think he'll find a way to be the primary swing tackle. Um, but if you can find a way to get him onto the squad, I, I don't see who he'll make it over, per se, unless an injury occurs. Knock on wood, of course. Uh, but this is definitely a guy that you could get excited about, right? If you uh, let him come in, continue to rehab, he, you know, gets into the swing of things with understanding how this offense wants to operate. Um, he can go out there and dominate, right? Especially depending on what it is that we're asking him to do. So um, I'm really excited about what the prospects of having a guy like Zach Banner on this team could do. Uh, and it'd be a great success story. Uh, uh, definitely a huge turnaround and a boost. Um, to the staff and you know Joe Douglas has tried everything under the sun to get this offensive line uh, to work and have some capable bodies waiver wire pickups uh, NFL draft free agency trades we just haven't been able to, to to pinpoint some of these targets but hopefully things are turning around between Max Mitchell Joe Tittman coming over obviously Elijah Vera Tucker um, so we'll see how things pan out but keep an eye on this Zach Banner we could see a signing for him coming down the pipeline, especially since Yatni Kajus, uh, the tackle that we had picked up a few weeks ago, maybe about a month or so now, uh, he's down with an injury. So you want to kind of try to replace a body anyways. Zach Banner's healthy enough to work out. He can definitely figure out a way to uh, get on the squad and make some noise. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Zach Banner, uh, would you sign him uh, if he ended up, uh, well, I guess impressions won't really matter. We'll find out here soon. But uh, ultimately, would you guys sign him if he's actually available and he, you know, deems to be fully healthy? Let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you guys again. Peace.